Hey, hey, hi there. Mm -hmm. How are you? It's Thursday, 5.57 p.m., 75 degrees outside. And, oops, and I just got an email, which I'm going to ignore. Uh, let me tell you about gum. I love gum. I haven't had gum in forever, but I bought some five. It's called five because it's been out for five years, and only just now have I gotten around to buying some. Actually, let me see. Yes. There's a new flavor. Vortex, a juicy green apple. This pack was 50 cents, so I figured, okay, I'll try it. My favorite gum of all time was uh, Hubba Bubba. Was it Hubba Bubba? It was Hubba Bubba Sugarless Peppermint. And I had that Mohawk Duck who was really rocking because he had a ring in his nose. Do you remember that? You know what? I may still have some. It hasn't been sold for about four and a half years. But I always had a pack in reserve. Hang on just a minute. I'm sure it's in here somewhere. You never throw anything away. Oh, I'm sorry. It was Bubble Yum. Duh. It wasn't Hubba Bubba. That's how long it's been. Here's the remains of my gum from 2008 that I've carried around forever because it doesn't exist anymore. Isn't that weird? Aren't you glad you know me? I actually have a couple of packs of this somewhere. And if I ever find it, I'll probably try to chew it. This is... Hard as a rock, though. But I, I keep it around as a reminder of a gentler time. Anyway, I, I used to love... Is that my 559 page? It sure is. Bubble Yum Sugarless Peppermint, because you could take one square of it, and you could put it in your mouth in Modesto, and you could still taste peppermint, and you could still chew it while you were driving into Los Angeles seven, eight hours later. That was when I first really got into it, because it was just something to chew while driving between home and college. And I loved it. And they stopped selling it. Why? For no good reason, really. I don't know why. I guess no one liked it but me. Or whatever sugar substitute they used fell out of vogue. I think it was uh, sorbitol or something like that. I could look at the ingredients, but I've already put it away and hidden it. Anyway... Kind of fell off gum when they stopped when Bubble Yum stopped being available. But now, thanks to Five, and again this was on sale too. But I tried that apple gum; it's good. It just doesn't last as long, and I guess it might be because it's these little wimpy sticks instead of you know manly gum cubes. This is very blue though; that's why it's called cobalt. But really, it's peppermint. And like these vortex. I don't know how you get Vortex from Apple, but they did. And they're really green. And these are tasty, too. I should have... You know what? I'm going to have one. The smell is overpowering, too, which is a good thing. But it's just too bad that as great as it smells, it doesn't last as long. I don't know. I think this gum is marketed for teens, too. I was trying to figure out why they called it Five. And it's actually in the ad. It stimulates all five senses. I can totally hear this gum right now, dude. What? Fifteen sticks for a buck. Or fifty cents if you're lucky. These were three packs for two bucks. So I'm chewing gum again. Actually, when I was going into the candy jar... I don't really consider it gum, but double bubble. You remember that when you were a kid? But this stuff, that is hard as a rock. Ow. And that lasts about five minutes. And it's also sugar gum. And I'm trying not to chew sugar gum anymore. But there were a couple of days a few years ago. Because that's probably how long it's been since I've actually opened this jar. Hey, something interesting about this jar. I don't know if you can see there's an XO kind of blasted into it there. This was a 
a Christmas gift from XO, and it's probably not even from XO because it also says Cisco, so I think Cisco may have paid for it, and then they handed it out one of XO's cheaper years. This was our Christmas gift. Uh, the reason I bring this up, it's a coincidence, but I was talking to my mom, uh, when was it, Tuesday? Tuesday night? And she said, yeah, I just found a jar with XO on it. Do you want it? I'm like, no, it was probably an extra one I gave to you. But anyway, really wanted gum. And I happened to have the double bubble. I don't think it was that hard back then. It may not have literally been years since I put the candy in there. It looks like it's been picked over pretty good. Usually it's stuff that I like. Yeah, I don't see anything really chocolatey. There are a lot of Tootsie Rolls, but there aren't as many flavor Tootsie Rolls. There's some right at the bottom. I'll never get down there. Back when I had a lot more people come into my office to request uh, technical help or research or whatever, I go through candy a lot quicker because there are people who would eat the candy. But everyone here is such a health nut now. It's really a shame. Does apple gum go with Diet Mountain Dew? Oh man, it does not. There was a story on Gawker yesterday, I want to say, about the new limited edition holiday Oreos for Halloween, which are white Oreos, the, the cookies are white, the filling is candy corn. And this woman who took it upon herself to film a video of her eating candy corn Oreos and not liking them and making a big production out of not liking them just made me want them more. So I was hoping when I was at the grocery store last night I could have bought some, brought them here and showed them to you and eaten them and not been as dramatic about it, but not available yet. Or they weren't in my store. I have a feeling close to Halloween they will be though. I did see the white chocolate with candy corn M&Ms, but there are some things that I'm just not curious enough to spend a full price on. That's one of them. I have a hunch. Right around uh, November 2nd, opening night of the regular season for the Minnesota Timberwolves at the Target Center versus the Sacramento Kings, there will be a lot of these M&Ms for 50% off, because so I don't think they're going to sell at all. You know when I buy soda in bottles, it comes in one of these deals, and I think the grocery store probably pays a, ooh, hi there, what's up? I think the grocery store pays a deposit on them. So technically it's stealing if I walk out with one. But when I buy 24 bottles of soda, there's really no better way. And I think four times out of five, the cashiers just let me go because they don't know. And I always offer that fifth time when they say, no, I'm sorry, you can't. I say, you know, I'll pay the deposit. But they don't take me up on it because they know there's no real good way to do that in the grocery store system. The reason I show it to you is not only because it's empty, but uh, i got big plans for it. I'm going to take it home, and I'm going to stack it on top of all the other ones I've got. Now, do you remember when I bought uh, those solar lights that were like 75% off, so they were 49 cents each, and I bought like a dozen of them? Did I show them to you? I can't remember. I may not have. Well, I did. And it's now rained so many times that the cardboard thing I had them in has kind of disintegrated, and they're about ready to display all over the place. So what I'm going to try to do, I'm hoping that these little holes right here uh, are the perfect size to stick those uh, light spikes in there. And if not, I could probably do some cutting on it or something. That may be more effort than I want to put into it, though, so I'm just going to hope that these are the right size. It's a very efficient kind of package, though, for holding. I've got another one down there. It's full of soda. Here, let's look at it. There it is. It's underneath the V8. But I'm good for soda for a while. But I'm going to take that home. And I just wanted you to know that because it's one of those days where I do nothing but talk about gum and soda and plastic and my time is up amazing how that works this is what happens when you do not guide the discussion so you know how to reach me 
otherwise, we'll just see what happens tomorrow. Because I do plan on being back, and I hope you will be too. Thanks for watching.